The simplest way to crop any image is to go to your effects panel and look up the word crop. Drag that onto your footage, and inside the effects controls panel, you can click and drag on these percentages to the right of all of these parameters right here. But what's easier is to highlight the word crop and click and drag on the handles within the program monitor to situate your crop however you want to. With crop highlighted, you can click and drag with the mouse to move that around the monitor. But let's say we're putting this footage above a screen recording and I wanna move it up to the top right corner. If I wanted to do that, I would go to the motion and scale this down like this and move it over. I could also just go to my selection tool and double click it and move it around the monitor how I wanted to. Now I have that up in the corner, but let's say I wanted to adjust the framing of my crop without moving this square anywhere. The biggest tip I can give you for that is to go back to your effects panel and look up offset. Click and drag that onto your footage. If we just start adjusting the offset, it won't work how we want it to. What we need to do is take the offset, click and drag that and put it above crop. And now we have the ability to move the framing of our image within the crop without moving it anywhere inside the program monitor. Now, instead of doing a rectangle crop, let's say I wanted to do a circle. So I'm gonna take this crop and delete it. I'm going to reset my offset and my motion. And now we're back to square one with still the offset on my clip. For this, I'm gonna to go to opacity while the clip is highlighted and go to create ellipse mask. Click that and we do have an ellipse, but in order to get this to be a perfect circle, all you have to do is hold shift and drag any of the handles. Now we have a perfect circle and with mask highlighted, I can also move this around the image like I showed you with crop. So if I wanna center this like so, and I'm gonna take my feather and put it all the way down to zero. And we can do that same framing like I did before. If I click and drag, I accidentally move the mask and that's because I have the word mask highlighted. I'm gonna undo. What I wanna do is click off mask and click motion and move this over into the corner. Now let's say you wanted to add a stroke to this or you wanted to create a rectangle with rounded corners. Both of these techniques utilize the same method. So I'm gonna undo all of this and show you how to do that. What I wanna do is take this example footage and move it up to track three. Let's say this is a screen recording, blank track, example footage of me talking on the camera, and another blank track. With our track set up something like this, I'm going to go to my tools right here. For this, I'm gonna start by doing a rectangle with rounded corners, and then you could take that and apply it to a circle with a stroke. If you don't see the rectangle right here, anytime you see this triangle in the corner of any of the tools, that means there's more tools that you can select. So if you click and hold with the mouse, you can reach the rectangle tool there. With my rectangle tool selected, I'm going to click and drag on my program monitor and create a rough estimate of what I want this crop to be. Now I'm going to move this up so we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna extend that shape for the entirety of my footage right here. And I'm going to switch to the selection tool. Go to Window, Essential Graphics. Now I'm going to highlight that shape and this is the icon for rounded corners. So if I click and drag this up, we can adjust the corners however we see fit. Now that I have this in the general area of what I want this to look like, I'm going to go back to my example footage and in effects, we're going to look for track mat. Take track mat key, put that on your footage and not the graphic. And we are going to set this up as a mat for our graphic here in front of my face. I'm going to go to mat. That graphic is on video four, so I'll turn that on. And now we have effectively created a mat with rounded corners. I have that offset effect on this clip so I can recenter this inside my mat without affecting the framing of where it is on my program monitor. Before moving this to any corner, the next step I wanna do is add a stroke to this. So I'm gonna highlight my graphic, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, click and drag that to number two. And to make this easy, I'm gonna rename this as stroke and my top one, mat. So these are essentially the same two shapes, but on different tracks. With the stroke shape on track two, I'm going to highlight this, undo the fill, and turn on stroke. And there's two options you could do here. You could do center or you could do outer. If you do inner, it's gonna be behind the image and it won't work. So center or outer, I'll stick with center for right now. You can change the stroke to whatever color you want to. And you can also make your stroke however big you want to. You also have the option to create multiple strokes. But for right now, I like the look of this. So in order to move this over into the corner with everything set up, I'm going to highlight the three clips, right click and nest it. I'll call this picture in picture and frame it how I would like 
it to look. One bonus effect you could add here is drop shadow. Drag that onto the nested clips and I'll turn my opacity up to 100, do a little bit of distance and turn up my softness. Now, if you wanted to do this as a circle, you would just repeat these same steps, but instead of doing the rectangle tool, you would do the ellipse tool, click and drag, and as you're dragging, hold shift so it's a perfect circle, move that circle where you would want it to be, duplicate that shape, and instead of having a fill on the bottom layer, we turn on stroke, and now we have a white stroke around our image. If I go back to my original clip, here's the rectangle, here's the circle with the stroke, and like before, it looks like I'm a little left in the image, so I could double click in here and adjust my offset so I'm centered of my circle. So there's a couple ways you can accomplish a crop inside Premiere Pro. If this was helpful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, and until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.